Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how you can create a calendar visual. I got this um, question recently on LinkedIn as I posted one of my quick tips. Let's start. About me, my name is Catherine, I'm Managing Director of Yoda BI Consulting, founder of Feeny Fabricators and Power Platform User Group. You can find me on Blue Sky, LinkedIn or here on YouTube. I have a blog uh, on my website and reach out if you have questions. And now let's start the tutorial. You see, we want to achieve this. So we have a nice clean report here and we want to have a calendar in a report. So for example, if I click on the year, it filters down the uh, calendar weeks of the year. So if I switch from 2019 to 2020, you see we have here different weeks and you can also see we have um, the month. And if you want, you can, for example, click on the month, then it will filter down the weeks or you just choose a week and you get the week of the year. Okay, how can we achieve this? I prepared a little page here. First, I would say let's load a background in this page because it looks better if we have a background. So this is the first thing I have to do or I, 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 I do if I create reports. I make a style guide and create pages, background pages for the reports. So now we can, under the format area, we can go on canvas background, um, load the picture, click on fit which uh, makes it responsible on, uh, or responsive on all um, devices. So if you go, for example, with a tablet in your report, it will automatically change the size. Um, if you have a handy uh, or a mobile phone, uh, I would uh, recommend to build um, a report X, yeah, for, for a mobile phone. You can do this in Power BI very easily. Uh, if you click the views here um, on the left side, you can change the view and then you can create simply a yeah, mobile layout. But let's stay with our calendar. And you see now I have here the nice background in it and I prepared this one so you know how it should look in the end. And for this I use the button slicer. If you don't have it, then maybe you don't have the newest version of Power BI Desktop or you didn't um, enable the preview uh, of this visual. So if you click uh, on file, you can go on the left side on options and settings, on options. And under options, there's a little navigation window uh, in a moment. And there you can click under preview features. And there you see there's so many preview features. <laughs> and there is um, also a preview feature in the moment for the button slicer also for new card visual list slicer text slicer and so on if you want to test them you have to switch them on and then you have to restart your power bi desktop okay in my case i switch it on and my desktop is updated so we can start first i click on the button slicer then i get this uh, empty frame and in this frame i can fill now in my data from the calendar i choose my years and you see here now I got my years in and you see the size of uh, the font isn't uh, yeah, fitting very well in this background. So we can change this easy under the format area. We can go on call out values on the right side. Uh, choose DIN. So the font DIN is very small. I choose this normally for the calendars. Then I can say, okay, maybe we make this 10, so it's a bit smaller, and then we can go on general, and under general I can um, also change the title size, and I can also say under effects I will uh, hide the background, so if the uh, corners go outside, maybe, then you don't see anything because it's transparent now. Okay, now I can make it a bit smaller and you see still the buttons are not fitting very well. This is because of the layout. So we can go into the layout and we can here say, okay, we have only one row and we have um, 
two columns and then now we see okay it fits a bit better not perfect then I can also change for example spaces between the buttons if you want to have it a bit uh, closer maybe I say okay it's two so you have so many options here it's, um, yeah <laughs> we have to to uh, search the right option here under the padding size we can choose narrow then the numbers will go in the in this button and then it looks a bit um, better so you can also choose under the size custom if you want and then you can make it even smaller or you can make it bigger so it depends on what you want okay now we have the um, the slicer for the year the next one would be the slicer for the month so let's uh, do it the same so we click on the, uh, on the button slicer now we fill in the, the week numbers and we get this one now you see there are not all of the weeks in it because of the layout, because the layout says three rows, three columns, but we need um, eight and seven. So now we have our week numbers. I recognize we should have done month before, but it, uh, we, it, it doesn't matter. So <laughs> stay with, with the weeks now. And now we have to uh, change uh, the size in the callout values uh, to 10. And then we can go again under the buttons. And under the buttons, we can choose the size narrow. And then the numbers will come back. So can make it a bit bigger. And you see here, we can change the layout again because I guess in the other thing I done the eight, uh, the seven. Uh, no, it is uh, yes. Now it's right. So okay. So eight columns and seven rows, and now we can maybe be a bit, bit smaller and put it here. You see, it's a bit. Uh, it, it takes a bit time to to <laughs> adjust it, and then we have to go to the title. Uh, change also here the title size to twelve, and the background. We can also remove the background again, and that's it. So, of course, we can make it maybe a bit smaller. So you can play around with it, right? So I guess uh, the the idea is clear. Um, how to, to do it. So I guess we can do one last adjustment. So the layout uh, space between the buttons, we can change to two so that we get it a bit closer and then uh, we can make it a bit smaller again. And then now no, it's good, now it looks good. Okay, next thing, again, we go to the button slicer, choose it and put in the month's numbers or the month's name, month's name and you see, there's a trick, but it doesn't work with the button slicer because the layout is so different. But you could uh, click on the week numbers and go on home and then on format painter and then click again on the month. And then you see we have now the, the same size of the font. And this is good. So we don't have to go to the title again. We don't have to remove the background, but we have still to change the layout here. So we have to go to the um, format area, go to the layout and change here the layout from uh, to uh, six and two. Sorry, uh, every time <laughs> I mix it up, but now it's right. So we have six columns and uh, two rows. And now you see, I can make this also a bit smaller, can adjust it a bit and put it here a bit in line. If you're not sure if it's correct aligned, you can um, mar mark all three and go under format and there you find the align area and then you can align it to the left for example if you want to have it a bit straight in line and that's it so now we have our calendar and you can can simply click on it um, filter after 2019 click on the 25th and then you will have your data for this week in this year that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.